Hello Year 7s, it's Mr Omar again. I've come to talk to you about the heart of your essay, the middle three paragraphs, or the middle paragraphs, after the conclusion and before the introduction, sorry, between the introduction and the conclusion, of course the body paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip through um, the introduction information which we went through in another video, but there it is just to refresh your memory. And so now we're up to the body paragraph. The body paragraph is where you basically flesh out each of the individual ideas that you want your reader to understand. Once they understand these three big ideas, they should agree with you about your contention. So you're basically saying, here's my first reason that you should agree with me, here's my second and here's my third, and they should be different reasons. There is a place for repetition, but you, should, but you don't just make the same point three times. That's not effective. So, the structure that you need to remember is T-E-E-L, which is commonly pronounced teal. Now, this is used a lot in formal English writing, and you'll hear teal a lot. So, here's what they stand for. The first T is topic sentence. Now, this is the point you want the, the, the writer wants to make to the reader. It's not an example, and I actually think it should be very easily understood. Just tell the reader what you want them to believe. And you will often find this, that people will do this in their writing. Up front will be a topic sentence. Sometimes it's a sentence or two in after a short story or introduction. But there will be a sentence that you can look at and think, ah, this is what they want me to agree with. The next thing you do is you back it up with an example or evidence. Um, so, you know, here's the point I'm making and here's why you should believe me. Here's a statistic or a story or just proof of some kind. Then you go and explain it. Now this is something that lots of people miss, but I'll get to that in the example in a minute. And finally, you link. And you don't link to any old thing, you link back to the main point that you're making. You make the connection between this body paragraph and the overall point that you're making. So let's go on to the example, because the example follows on from the example I used for the introduction. So, in this example body, body paragraph, the screen on the Supernova 6 is super clear. This is the point that I'm trying to make to the reader. That one of the reasons you should buy this is it's got a great super clear screen. So I've introduced the idea, then I introduce the evidence or the example. It is the first ever phone to use high definition glass and it has 50% more pixels. So I'm giving them information which basically backs up my claim that it's got a super clear phone. So here's what I want you to believe and here's why you should believe it. And then I go on to explain and say this means, and that's not a bad sentence stem, this means or this is how we know or this shows us that photos and movies are amazingly sharp. So that's what happens next. You basically explain to the reader what the evidence proves and then you go back and tell them your overall point, which is this is one reason why lots of people are buying the Supernova 6. So that's, as, you know, that's a fairly reasonable basic body paragraph and it doesn't have to be terribly long. But what it does have to happen, it have, is a topic sentence, an example or evidence for this point you're making, go on and explain it, lots of people don't explain it and it makes your argument stronger if you do, and come back to your contention. And then you basically do three of those, three or four, I mean you can do more than that, but at the moment we're just working with three. So that is the body paragraph and that is the heart of your essay. So be really careful that you're getting those um, to be well structured. I'll be back shortly with the conclusion.